What's up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I'm going to be sharing with you some of the battles and rental codes from a Reg A Plus tour that I did with some of my friends a while back. Uh, this is part two of the series actually, there, so I can link that in the description so you can go see some more of these battles and some more rental codes that other people use. But in this video, we've got a few. This here is Aquamoth's team featuring Choice Spec Sylveon and Gale Wing's Talonflame. This Sylveon can just put out massive damage, and there's a lot of good Pokemon here too. There's, for example, Eject Pack Torkoal with Overheat to swap it out and Eruption. Golden Go, just a standard leftover set. Choice Band Dragonite for Rigoraf to put up Trick Room and block priority. So this team actually has Tailwind and Trick Room as options. It's just a really strong team. But anyway, let's get into the match. Alright, that's Spec Sylveon with Weather Ball and Terra Blast Water. Uh, Golden Go, Nasty Plot, Terra Dragon, Choice Band Dragonite, uh, Covert Cloak, Talonflame with Flare Blitz, uh, Psychic Noise, Ally Switch, Helping Hand, Trick Room, and Eject Pack Torkoal with Eruption. Um, and Helping Hand Earth Power. Oh man, that's terrifying. Uh, I can shut down their priority with Ndidi. I think the other four are the ones coming. Uh, I think Chandelure is pretty strong. Honestly. But I'm terrified of Golden Go. I'm so scared of Golden Go. I guess my Torkoal has to sweep, right? My Torkoal has to sweep and it has to be with Ndidi. Maybe I could go backs on lead with with Ndidi then I'd be worried about Sylveon uh, and then a Torkoal of course oh boy so no Sylveon gives me trouble uh Chandelure in the back oh this is a really scary team you got here oh my goodness Oh boy, uh, I'm terrified of Sylveon, I'm terrified of Golden Go. Um, I'm really terrified, that's a good card. Okay, with Dragonite? Okay, so Dragonite's gonna be the star, huh? Ugh, cause Dragonite, it can Ice Spinner away my terrain. Ah, oh, there's Sylveon, oh it's so small! That's the tiniest Sylveon I've ever seen. Gotta be a hyper voice from Sylveon, yeah? Frigraph is goggles, don't care. I guess I want some chip on Sylveon either way. I'm gonna tear a water here so I don't just die. Icicle Spear. Plus Psychic? Yeah, I like that. I don't think they're gonna lock into a single target move considering the special defense boost plus follow me. Maybe in game two, I would have to be careful about something like that. There's also Ally Switch, which is just something else that could mess me up. Oh, it's the Terra from Sylveon! I should have gone for Scale Shot. Uh, that would have been way too risky to just go for, though. But this is also why I went for Psychic instead of Helping Hand. I figured this could have happened. Uh, this is also good against my Torkoal Chandelure combo. Uh, it's just Helping Hand, though. So I think I could probably take one. And my Ndidi, I would guess, is faster than Sylveon. Depends on the investment. Oh my goodness! Maybe you're fast. That did so much damage. Yeah, you're faster than Ndidi. And the helping hand you do over half two Ndidi. Alright, you're low health. I'm gonna switch my Icicle Spear target.
If you ally switch, Ndidi will live. Put the Icicle Spear over here. And a Psychic over here just in case of the ally switch. There's no ally switch, okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, does Psychic Noise take out backs from here? Probably with the Terrain Boost. Uh, could this be a Trick Room turn? I'm just glad Sylveon's gone. Sylveon was terrifying. Uh, we get our Psychic first, that's not surprising. And there's Trick Room! That's... that's scary, uh, but we have Chandelure who can bring in, who I can bring in on this eruption. We're pretty much free. Into either slot I want. I think I'll give them backs. If they want to take it. Uh, if they go for like an overheat and get lot stuck in, then I can high horsepower. Yeah. Oh, this is so awkward. Uh, but then I can come back with Ndidi and use Follow Me next to Chandelure, which could be good. Unless they read this and go for like Earth Power plus Psychic Noise. Yeah, it's just Eruption, thank you. Psychic Noise I should be able to take. Alright, Bax, you, you did great, actually. That was so much damage into Sylveon. Oh my goodness. If I'd gone for Helping Hand Scale Shot and just, like, called that, it would have been amazing. Right, that doesn't do half. Didi's gonna go down, then I'm gonna take a Psychic Noise. Um, I think that's okay. I pretty much have to lock Heat Wave, though. Who do they have in the back that can take a Heat Wave? Dragonite? Yeah. That would be annoying. Uh, follow me. They could overheat to get out. So that's what I gotta click. I imagine this would be maybe an overheat, or just another eruption. Yeah, it's just another eruption. They don't want to leave. Okay. Well, we know we can take one more Psychic Noise unless it crits, and then we get our own Torkoal in. Who... we're min speed, we don't know that they're min speed. Um... was that a crit? No! That's a high roll! No! Oh no! Oh no. Oh no. Well, now I have no choice but to eruption. Oh. Oh, that high roll. Alright, I mean... <laughs> yeah, Earth Power goes off before my eruption. They are min speed. Well, I know that for game two. Oh no! Oh! And then they undo Trick Room. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. I'm gonna get hit by Psychic Noise. Now oh, the weirdness is gone. They got something in the back. I would like to see whatever that is in the back if I could. I don't know if we're gonna get to that point though. Yeah, no. All right. Oh man. All right. Here we are for game two. 
Oh man, <laughs> that was rough. Um, is there a way for Bax Caliber to break through Sylvia on turn one? Maybe. Um, Chandelure, Valiant, Indeedy Valiant, but then I would be using single target moves and be vulnerable to ally switch. Indeedy Hatterene. They've got Trick Room, but they don't have Imprison. I don't hate Indeedy Hatterene. Still want Bax. I still think Bax is good. Oh boy. Their Torkoal is just so scary. I don't know if Chandelure is the play anymore. My own Torkoal? Hope to get it right this time. <laughs> no, I, I want to go Chandelure. I did leave Torkoal at home? Because they're going to be expecting Torkoal. Oh man. This is so tough. It's such a scary team. There's so many ways to go. It could just could just be Tailwind make it rain. It could just be Tailwind plus Sylveon is just a powerful combo. I was using that last week in Reg G and doing well. Oh my goodness. I don't think Talonflame would come. Dragonite might. I still don't know what the last was, and I can't imagine not bringing Golden Go into my team. Golden Go's so strong. But I guess I brought all my fire types, that should scare it away. Alright, I'm gonna anticipate a Hyper Voice plus Trick Room play. So I want to click Helping Hand plus Expanding Force. See how much damage I can do to Sylveon with that. So I don't anticipate going down unless it's a single target move, like Hyper Beam, which would be insane. But I guess you're right, if you're up a game, you can make reads like that. Helping Hand Hyper Beam, Helping Hand Hyper Voice they might do. Oh, they might think I want Trick Room, but would they be trying to stop it? Because they could just bring in Torkoal. Okay, our Helping Hand is the first thing to go, as it should be. Uh-oh, <laughs> it's a Helping Hand on their side, too. Uh, I'm pretty sure Hatterene can take a Hyper Voice. Yeah. 4 HP! Goodbye. Yeah, it's gone. Fantastic. Oh, boy. And Hatterene's gone. <laughs> well, that was a funky trade. Uh, now I want to go into bats. The former idol? It's Dragonite! Cool. Ice Spinner, Extreme Speed, Stomping Tantrum, Outrage. I guess I could see Outrage coming through, in which case I would need to follow me. And most likely a Terra from Dragonite. Who is in her focus. I, I want to know the speed tiers between my Dragonite, your Dragonite and my Bax Caliber. I don't know them. I'm going to scale shot the Dragonite. Yeah, it's going to Terra, but if I lose Indeedee here and get a speed boost on my Bax Caliber, and if they're going to Terra, they're probably not going to ally switch. I'm getting the speed boost because I'm not sure the speed tier is here. I was faster the whole time. Could have been a sword stance then. But this might put them both in heatwave range from Chandelure does so much damage. Oh my goodness, Bax Caliber, you're incredible. Look at that damage. Um, I guess Trick Room would be really annoying. 
Would they go for that here? Maybe. You don't know if I have Torkoal or Chandelure in the back, though. You wouldn't risk Torkoal coming in. Oh, they would. Oh, that's the worst possible thing that could have ever happened. Because now Outrage gets a KO into something. I don't think Chandelure takes an Outrage. Does Bax at minus one defense take a Choice Band Outrage if I Terra Water? I don't know. He better. Would this be an ally switch? No, I don't think so. You would want to get damage off. Oh boy. Oh no, 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 no. Okay. Here's what happens. Um, Outrage targets Chandelure. Probably KOs. I take that in response. Psychic Noise doesn't do enough. They have Torque Hole Last, which can't do enough damage. Come on, please don't get a good target. Okay, that's Chandelure. That's the first thing I needed. It does not live that, obviously. Hmm. They're gonna get three hits off, though. Psychic Noise, Eruption, plus another hit. Ah, oh, there's no way. Unless you don't have Torkoal last. Yeah, that's Torkoal. Um, it's a jackpack Torkoal, though. You already burned Terra. I don't have Protect to stall any of this Trick Room. Not that it would matter. I don't know. I don't think there's anything I can do. This should be more than enough damage. Yeah, that's plenty. Oh, great. I was hoping for like an ally switch for some reason and I can catch Torkoal, but no. GG. Oh, man. Oh, man, that's a powerful team. <laughs> GG's. Oh, two. Oh, my goodness. Well played. Next up, we've got Chawarzard's team. Chawarzard's rocking Choice Specs Glaceon, another Specs Eevee. Uh, this one's with Ninetales, so it can set up Aurora Veil and Snow, and then spam Blizzard. Uh, he has changed the rental code a little bit since the tour. There is now an Electabuzz and an Incineroar here. Electabuzz is just a good support mon, with Eevee Light at super bulky. It can follow me away uh, sleep powders and spores because it has vital spirit to make it immune to sleep. But Palafin's still here, a very powerful mon. Uh, anyways, let's get on to this match. Alright, here we are. Uh, that's just Safety Goggle Skeledurge, AV Rillaboom, uh, Punching Glove Palafin, uh, Alola Ninetales is Cloaked, Glaceon is Bright Powder Snow Cloak Blizzard, love it. Uh, and, uh, Rocky Helmet, Dual Wing Beat, Tailwind, Iron Head Roost. Okay. Uh, they're definitely gonna bring Nine Tails. They're definitely gonna bring Rillaboom. Ooh, I wonder if I could just go fire right from the start. Uh, I don't think game one that's the play. There's, there's some fire, there's a lot of fire resistances too. It's, it's probably best to go in DD Hatterene. Torkoal. Let's see, Bax. Doesn't really hate any of that. They do have an Intimidate user, but uh, good luck switching that into a Bax. But yeah, I really like Bax here. Bax was added to the team to be good into Palafin. And as long as we don't Terra it, which we might not have to, uh, as long as we don't Terra, we can take advantage of Sun or Snow against the Palafin. Uh, but the Palafin does have Drain Punch. Uh, that's a good card. Okay. Let's see how he's going with... Oh, Ninetales Skeleton. Okay. Okie doke. 
The Nine Tails is Helping Hand to Roar Veil, Moon Blast, Icy Wind. The Skeledurge is Torch Song, Shadow Ball, Will O Wisp, Roar. Uh, you can't roar Hatterene out. I'm thinking swap Indeedy. I don't think Indeedy's gonna get targeted. So I should be able to go into Torkoal hard. And then I would only worry about like a double up into Hatterene, but I could Terra and get Trick Room that way. Uh, so I'm gonna do that. I'd rather not have to Terra, but it is what it is. Alright, Indeedy is swapping first. It's possible I'm faster than their Skeleton. All right, let's put the sun up. Let's let's not allow Aurora Veil or anything. All right, we're terrestrializing, so they're definitely not. It's not possible for them to be slower. Into water. Uh, just in case Shadow Ball was coming. I feel like Shadow Ball might not be coming, in which case Torch Song might be coming, and this helps resist that too. Uh, they do try to Veil. That's great. That's a wasted turn. And Torch Song. Oh, into Torkoal. Ow. Don't like that. All right, so Ninetales wants to go. But I'm not worried about Ninetales. Skeledurge doesn't have Protect. So I want to hit that. I want to I want to click Eruption, because it'll be damaging to Skeledurge and pressure a Rillaboom swap in, if there was going to be one. Terra Fairy is not going to help Skeledurge. <clears throat> Terra Water could help Ninetales, but I don't really care. So I'm going to Erupt even though it's a little weak and expanding force at Skeledurge. Uh, I could see them terrestrializing Skeledurge, actually, if they read, like, an Earth Power. Uh, it looks like Ninetales, probably. Yeah, Ninetales didn't swap, so it's gonna stay in and just try to Moonblast something, I guess. Okay. Um, are you gonna take the double up, though? Because now it's, expanding force is still spread uh, without Rillaboom coming in. So Eruption does very little damage. Oh, uh, that would have done a ton to Ninetales, though, otherwise. Ooh, Skeleturge barely hangs on. Okay. Alright, I mean, it can do something. It can maybe take out Torkoal. Now that it's at plus one, a Shadow Ball's really gonna hurt. Yep, it does hurt. Alright. Good gaming, Torkoal. You turned off Aurora Veil, at least. And I'm gonna go into backs here. Skeledurge is a light tap away from going down. And there's Rillaboom. Alright, well, it's a free into Indeedy expanding force. Good luck. Because Rillaboom can't protect. So... Like, sure, I may not KO, but it's gonna put you in such a bad position that I'm clicking the button. Yeah. It's the right play. And since my Ndidi isn't min speed, I wasn't confident on bringing it in with Rillaboom coming in at the same time. Like, who knows how the speed tiers are gonna react there. Yep, there's the expanding force. They didn't try to fake out at least. And Rillaboom take that really well, actually. Is this gonna be a glide into Hatterene? Or a wood hammer? Either one should be enough. Yeah, wood hammer. Oh, Glide might not have been enough. I did turn off the terrain after all. Alright, some extra chip on Rillaboom's nice. And Rillaboom can no longer swap, so we have terrain. And now Bax and Indeedy have to clean up the game. They should be able to. Uh, Rillaboom has high horsepower, Woodhammer, Grassy Glide, Fake Out, no U-turn. Uh, and here's Glaceon. Which, I mean, Yawn? Blizzard? You can do some damage to Bax. Especially with, like, Blizzard. Uh, I think I'll go for a Psychic on Rillaboom. Two turns of Trick Room remain. And 
I guess I'll scale shot Glaceon, though I'm worried about missing. Freeze Dry's gonna hurt. Okay, I can take two of those. That's good. And indeed, he is slower than Rillaboom. Great. Good to know. Uh, I guess it could be a speed tie, but it's unlikely. Scale shot. Misses entirely. Fantastic. I'm gonna go for Psychic and Scale Shot now. Yeah, I think that's fine. Yeah, they're going for Blizzard, there's no point in following me. Psychic misses. Oh no, what's happening? Scale Shot misses? What is happening? What is happening? You hit both Blizzards! Come on, no! You can't do that! Uh, Psychic Scale Shot, I guess. Okay, now we connect. Oh, that's not doing very much damage, though. <laughs> Come on. Alright, you could just you could just miss your hit now. Okay, that's great damage. Five hits. That should be Psychic Range. Uh, you could be going for Freeze Dry in the back here, but I think Blizzard's a better play. And Psychic connects this time, thank goodness. Okay, bye Glaceon. Oh, Glaceon making me sweat a little at the end. Wow. Alright, good game one. Whew. Alright, game number two. Uh, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I like the four I brought. I don't think I can make the exact same plays, though. Uh, Bax was great. Uh, Torkoal is kind of necessary. Uh, if it's the same lead, could Chandelure Torkoal work? Yeah, <laughs> but, uh, ooh. No, because, uh, because it would be a guessing game as to whether, no, I don't think Shadow Ball could even take them. No, Shadow Ball's not going to Oko Skeledurge. So if I were to do a Chandelure lead, that would not work. Um, do I have any moves that don't miss so I can actually connect, guarantee a connect on Glaceon? No. No, I don't. Uh, Sacred Sword ignores evasion boosts from stat changes. But that's not a stat change. Snow Cloak's an ability, Bright Powder's an item. Hmm. Okay, same lead. Same stuff. Do I play it the same? No way. I absolutely do not play it the same. Right? Right? No way do they go for Veil. No way. Don't want to Terra. Oh, this is risky, but I'm up a game, so I'm gonna go with the risky play. Oh, they set Veil. Oh, no. Oh, they're going for a roar on Indeedee, it looks like. No, they're going for a roar on Hattery. Bye. Uh, good pivot, I guess. If that was your goal. Into Glaceon, under Veil, in the snow. Scary. Uh, I could bring in Torkoal here. And I probably do need to get Indeedee out into Torkoal. Just to, like, get the Snow Cloak out of here. Stop the blizzards from causing trouble. But then I think Dazzling Gleam is probably better than Expanding Force, because Rillaboom could swap in. So I'm gonna gleam. Alright, and Didi swapping, so it could be a swap from Nine Tails or none at all. Mm. 
<laughs> he says completely calculated. Yeah, I believe you. No, that, that makes sense. Oh, Terra Ice Blizzard incoming. Uh, please miss. No, no, uh, yeah, you missed this time, not me. I missed enough last game. Oh, it's a helping hand blizzard. This is gonna hurt. Uh, someone's taking damage this turn. Alright, Gleam connects to both. It doesn't pick up anything, though. And Blizzard double connects! No! You can't do this! You can't do this to me! That's not fair! <laughs> oh no! Okay. It's fine, whatever. Weather Ball should be able to pick up as long as it hits. So I'll go into backs. I'll Weather Ball. And... Do I greed with Swords Dance? No. Definitely Weather Ball Glaceon. Um, maybe I Terra just in case. You don't know how bulky that thing might be. An Icicle Spear should be enough to pick up here on Ninetales, and it covers for a swap into Rillaboom as well. Which I don't anticipate, but it's a, a possibility just to get Snow back. Then you may consider getting, oh. Oh, a swap there? Oh, show me Rillaboom. Skeleturge, oh, fine. This will still do good damage to Ske, oh, is that Rillaboom? Salamence, oh, that's gone. Oh, bye. <laughs> bye, Salamence. Okay, this was a good turn. I like it. Uh, Weather Ball is going to be useless when Snow comes back up. Huh. Eruption should be enough to take Ninetales, though. I probably do have to just get Torkoal out of here. I wonder if the Freeze Dry is enough to take my backs, though. I also wonder how much this does. Uh, good damage. Woohoo! One crit. And one more for good luck. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna get four anyway, minimum, so yeah. Uh, then is this gonna be Glaceon and then Hard Swap Ninetales? Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what it's gonna be. Okay. I bring in Indeedy and take nine tails with, I guess, high horsepower. That's gotta be what's happening here, right? It's gotta be a nine tails swap. This makes too much sense. Yeah, okay. He's playing well, but he's not playing me. And depending on how much this blizzard does, like, I assume Bax Caliber takes this, but it's gonna hurt. Okay. Just half to bolt. Fine. I will... I can live with that. I can live with half to bolt. How's this Trick Room going, though? Probably not great. Uh, last turn of Trick Room, also last turn of Psychic Terrain, also Glaceon's gonna b just blow something up here. I need to get... I guess I need to get backs faster than... all of them. Glaceon could sweep here. I need to set Sun. Someone has to swap out. Oh, uh, and it's probably backs Caliber. And that minus one attack, after all. I can't break Glaceon. Oh, so I gotta go for a Psychic into Skeletor, which is probably fine. And bring in Torkoal. I could lose both Pokemon here. And then I don't know if I have the juice to win with just back. So I need a dodge, and then maybe more. Shadow Ball into the Torkoal. Is probably enough. Yeah, it's enough. Oh, then do you throw Blizzard? Or is it freeze dry? And do you hit Blizzard? It is Blizzard and it connects. Oh, that's that's GG for uh, Indeedy there. Okay. Right, Aurora Veil is gone. Dimensions are gone. Weirdness is gone. Bax Caliber. Uh. 
Freeze Dry should definitely KO, but I don't know about Torch Song. So I need to KO Glaceon. And I think Scale Shot might be able to do it. No, nope, it'll miss. Okay, GG. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Glaceon! Stop dodging all my moves! Alright, game three. Do I need to change something I'm doing? Because I might have to change something I'm doing. Um. <laughs> oh boy. Uh. Same four. Glaceon just causes so much problems. Glaceon causes so much problems that maybe I just do. I just don't trick room and I just go sun mode? Uh, do I try it? No way to Salamence come again, so it might be Rillaboom. Oh man. Valiant could at least... I mean, I mean, uh, Galade could at least wide guard those blizzards. Uh, for all the good that would do me. If I Chandelure, they'll just Terra the Ninetales, maybe. Oh, that might work. Chandelure, Torkoal... Just do some damage right away. Fax, Caliber, Indeedy. Not even use Hatterene. Oh, that's so risky. That's so risky, but I'm doing it. I'm gonna do it. I'm willing to take a risk here. Oh, boy. Because I can exert so much pressure on everything that isn't Skeledurge. And if I Terra Chandelure, Skeledurge isn't gonna Oko. Chandelure. Yeah, that's the plan. Okay. Okay, I've got uh, th this plan might work. Skeledurge Ninetales, exactly as I expected. All according to plan. It's candle time. And their swap in would be maybe Salamence. Alright, good luck. Take a Terrifier Overheat in this. Uh, ter no, Heat Wave. Take a Terrifier Heat Wave in the Sun. For your troubles. Uh, I don't want a Helping Hand it. I might want an Earth Power Skeledurge. I don't hate that. But clicking Eruption is also like, sounds funny. So I'm gonna click Eruption. Alright, who's the swap in? Salamence did come. Oh, okay. Look at you! Salamence this time. Alright. That is fine by me. Uh, it's Terra Steel, Rocky Helmet, Iron Head, Tailwind, Roost, Dual Wing Bee. It might be bulky, because it has Roost. So it might take this really well. Uh, but if you're targeting Chandelure, which I suspect you are, Oracle's gonna get a full power eruption. Oh, it's a Terra from Skeledurge! You might not have a Skeledurge in a second. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, I didn't go for Shadow Ball. Uh-uh. Ooh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, this is gonna hurt a lot. Oh, I should've helped hand with that. Oh, well. Uh, it, I don't think it KOs. I don't know, it might. We'll see. Chandelure's strong. Okay, no, it doesn't. But, big damage. Predictable Shadow Ball. Good. Doesn't even do hack. Oh, wait, it'll KO next time, though. But, <laughs> you're not gonna have one. Boom. Oh, bye, Mence. All right. Double down. A oh, crit on Mence. Mence just loves getting crit. <laughs> Woo! Love that. Love that so much. And they burn Terra. So, they're in a little bit of trouble here. Um, they can get Veil. No, because Ninetales is gonna go down to a Heat Wave. Hmm. <laughs> that Salamence just bolt two games in a row. Switch in, get crit, go down. Never got a move off. That's why I thought it would probably uh, warm the bench this time. 
All right, Glaceon. Glaceon can't really do much to me here, so I think I'm actually happy to Heat Wave Eruption. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit click Eruption. Uh, helping Hand Blizzard coming my way. It looks like that's the only thing Nine Tails was gonna get off, unless I okay, I double connect Heat Wave. Let's go, Chandelure. Not letting me down. And it's a double KO. Two turn battle for Candle. Yes. Oh, the game three changeup. Yes. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. Let's go. Oh, great games, Chuar. That was that was super fun. Oh wow. GG's. Next up, we've got a team by the Darth Bear. The Darth Bear cooked up a lot of spice here. We've got Contrary Leaf Storm Superior with Gastro Acid as a really interesting tech move, as long uh, as along with Taunt. We've got an Incineroar that has Roar. We've got a Palafin with four attacks. And then Murkrow, standard Tailwind stuff, with also Quash. A Life Orb, Terra Ground, Terra Blast, Sylveon. And then just an Ape. Uh, you don't always have to do Mouse Ape when you're using Annihilate. It's just throwing on an Annihilate with the regular Bulk Up Drain Punch Rage Fist set, it can work on its own. But anyways, let's see how this match goes. All right, here we are. Uh, they've got Superior, Leaf Storm, Gastro Acid, Taunt Protect, um, Four Attacks, Palafin. Uh, they've got Flip Turn and Ice Punch. Um, Flare Blitz, Knock Off, Fake Out, Roar, Incin, Terra Grass, Terra Fire, Water Grass, um, Haze and Quash on that. That's a Bulk Up, Annihilate, Terra Fire, and a Sylveon with Ground Terra Blast, Life Orb, and also Psychic. Um, Psy Spam seems really good here, so maybe I just go in DD Hatterene. I don't see much way to s take terrain control. Uh, Torkoal should be fine. And then finally, Chandelure any good? I don't know. I would expect Annihilate to maybe be a problem. I could bring Valiant to the distant past. Could do a lot. I might want back Caliber just for the Palafin. Hmm. Sylveon is scary though. Either one of these works. Um. I guess they got Foul Play and Haze, so maybe Valiant works a little bit better. I don't know, but I do like the Trick Room mode a lot. Yeah, and I think Valiant's good, it can handle Incineroar, maybe it'll work. But we'll see. Great trainer card. I think that's the same as last time we played, but it's just so good. All right, Palafin Superior. Palafin's probably gonna flip turn out. Superior is going to taunt, most likely. Um, I could follow me to avoid Leaf Storms. The taunt would be at Indeedy, so there's no need to redirect that. Uh, but I don't wanna get hit by like a Terra Water, Mystic Water, Wave Crash or something. So I should just use Follow Me and Trick Room. As much as I would like to just, like, Psychic in Trick Room. Or even, like, hard bring in Torkoal in Trick Room. Oh, that might have been cool. Uh, the Taunt was going there anyway. I imagine it's a flip turn. There's no reason to hard swap. I don't have Protect on anything, so that, that flip turn is completely free. Uh, now you're gonna go into, let me guess, Incineroar maybe? Um, ugh. You don't have much that can take a Gleam or, a, or an Expanding Force. The only Expanding Force resist is Incin and Murkrow. Murkrow doesn't take Gleam well. And there's Sylveon. Alright, Expanding Force time. I think it's Helping Hand E-Force. Uh, it could also be Go to Torkoal. Oh, I can't Helping Hand, I have to Psychic. Um, it could just be Go to Torkoal and Expanding Force. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't hate that. That should be fine. That should be fine. Uh, I'm a little worried about taking, like, a hyper voice, but Torkoal resists. It shouldn't be that bad. And getting the offensive pressure is good, because, like, if I can win this in a couple turns... Oh, Protect, that's great. That's fantastic. Yeah, free swap into Torkoal. Love it. Love it. Yeah, now it's just Expanding Force Eruption. Um, or is it Dazzling Gleam Eruption? Your Terra Ground, your Terra... Your Terra Fire, so it has to be Expanding Force. I'd be worried about Dazzling Gleam Eruption not picking up Superior. The only thing that could swap into any of those is Incin, who I feel like would have been on the field already. I'm gonna save Terra, though. I don't think I need it right this second. Yeah, I think this will be fine. Okay. Ball's in your court. You know I'm just gonna click the big damage button. Okay, Superior Swapping. Is this Ensign? I Ayella. There's Palafin. No, you're not gonna like the Expanding Force at all. This double up might take Palafin. Palafin can be made, run really bulky, but this is life orb expanding force. This is gonna kill you. For sure. From that range? Yeah, that's that. Alright. <laughs> uh, we don't know the fourth Pokemon. We know Superior has Protect. Um, the fourth Pokemon could be... Incin doesn't have Protect. Murkrow doesn't have Protect. Annihilate does have Protect. And there's Annihilate. Terrifier. Alright, both of your mons are Terrifier. Best place for me to use Terra is... Probably my Gallade. To mess with Annihilate in the endgame. I got two turns of Trick Room and two turns of Psychic Terrain. I should go for as much damage as I can this turn. When it's gonna be a double- uh, it's just gonna be a protect from both, maybe? Oh no, it's not gonna be a protect this turn. Uh, yeah, you're trying to see if Annihilate can take this. Your leftovers, though. I'm thinking if Annihilate was Citrus Berry, and then Eruption triggered that, there's a chance. But I don't think you're taking Expanding Force and Eruption. Either one is fine. I think that's E-Force range. But if you live on one, that's cool. Because you can only target one of my Pokemon, so the other one's gonna take out Superior. No, you still go down. Okay. Uh, you gotta get a double protect with Superior and then somehow sweep me when you don't have Terra and you only have Leaf Storm to do damage with. Yeah. This game's wraps. Alright. Eruption. Expanding force. GG, Superior. Alright, that's game one. Nice and easy. Let's see what the changeup is. I think the changeup is going to be to bring Incineroar for them. Uh, but they have never seen that I have Gallade in the back, so I think that can help. I see no reason to change up my lead. I think it did fine. Their changeup is going to be to bring Incineroar, maybe Murkrow? Probably not Murkrow. Probably Incineroar, though. Um, the Incineroar, it has Roar, which is not going to be able to stop Hattering. <clears throat> yeah, I don't, I'm not seeing anything that's going to be too big of a problem. Just to bring Valiant to the Distant Past last. Uh, if they come up with a combination that can stop this, then I've got game three to counter the counter. So, this is what I'm going with. Um, I do think Bax Caliber could be good. This is in, at least. That makes sense. Uh, 
Uh, could it be a double up into Hatterene? I wouldn't want that. I could just follow me Trick Room. It's the safe thing to do. Yeah, that's the safe thing to do. Because, like, even, like, there's probably no Palafin. I would think Palafin got dropped for that. So we're going to see Sylveon and Annihilate. I guess that makes sense. Because you would lead Palafin. Yeah, it's just a taunt. That must have been Ad and Didi anyway. Thank you! Oh, not the play you wanted to make. Oh, oh no! <laughs> well then. Alright, 75% uh, of an eruption is more than a weather ball. And I want to erupt. And I want to Terra. Just do as much damage as humanly possible to that Ensign. Oh no, this is gonna be another quick one, I think. <laughs> Ooh boy. You just saved me a turn there. Yikes. Well, I appreciate it. I mean, that could have gone into Gallade, which would have been awkward, because Incin would be slower. Most likely. I guess I don't know how they trained their Incin. My Gallade is just adamant, zero speed EVs. 31 IV. Ooh, doesn't pop the berry. Nice. Eh, I don't think Dazzling Gleam picks up, though. It hangs on. Okay. But that's Gleam range, or that's Earth Power range, or whatever. And a Roar. Magic Bounce Roar. Alright, that's like, that's kind of like having- Oh, it's Palafin? Palafin was here the whole time? Alright, well, I'm still full health, so Eruption and Expanding Force this time. Good luck! <laughs> Sometimes the good old clicking buttons trick works, you know? You come in, you trick room, and you, and you erupt. Yeah, you can go to Incin, but you're in eruption range. <laughs> Who's Murray? Is that the Ensign? Yeah. Yeah, you're in eruption range. Nothing's gonna take this. Uh, maybe you could read a Dazzling Gleam and go for Terra Fire on Superior, but I'm expanding force this time, so... It's not gonna work. Yeah, they just have no answer to the Torkoal Hatterene combo. And so I've, I've basically had them on the back foot from Team Preview, you know? Making, they're making some weird plays, but they, they're like desperate plays. So I get it. But that's going to be a nice 2-0 for Hattery. Goodbye, Superior. And with single target Dazzling Gleam, going to do that anyway. Spread Eruption did over half. Dazzling Gleam should do less. Like close to the same. Might have. No, no, I think it would have left it on red. Uh, no protect on the Palafin, so that's gone. Sylveon can protect. But you need a double protect to get out of Trick Room. Is that right? Yeah, two turns, two turns, two turns. Oh, that's convenient. Everything's happening at the same time. Expand thy force, Hatterene. Expand it. Yep, Sylveon's going for Protect. It's the only play. Uh, you can't do that in Psychic Terrain, sorry. Let's see, if Sylveon gets the double... You're locked out of Terraing. But you can probably take any hit from a Hatterene. 
which there's no way you're going to be able to knock out Torkoal. But you'll get out of the sun. So maybe I would have to swap Torkoal back to Indeedy. Which would put the terrain back up and power up the Psychic. Mm, I think we'd be fine. Eruption. Expanding Force. Good luck, Sylveon. Oh, you're just going to try to take it, huh? Just needed the one. GG's. Whew. That was, uh... Rough. <laughs> it was fun though, there were some cool picks on the other side. GG's. Final match is gonna be against Huggy Bear Gaming. Now they did not make a rental code for of their team, which, which I'm a little disappointed in honestly. I would have loved to see that, but it's alright. I'm bringing you my team that I'm using. This team you may have seen before, I have shared it before on the channel, but basically the idea is it's a Psy Spam team with Trick Room in Didi Hatterene, and then a fast mode of Chandelure with a Choice Scarf, because you put that out in the sun next to Torkoal or with Follow Me support and it can do some big damage. And finally I threw on a Vax Caliber. I wanted another physical attacker and I wanted something that was good against Palafin, and I wanted something that could work in or outside of Trick Room. So it's a bulky Vax Caliber but scale shot can increase its speed. So it's a, it's a pretty, uh, it's a mix set, it could go either way. But anyways, let's get on to this match. All right, Huggy Bear Gaming. Um, the Hatterene is Twisted Spoon. The Ndidi has Fake Out, watch out for that. Uh, Unburdened Sceptile, Acrobatics, Dragon Claw, Leaf Blade, Terra Grass. Uh, I don't know about Talon Flame, I think we're gonna both be fighting over Trick Room here. Uh, Flareon Protect, Last Resort, Terra Normal Flame Orb, yo, that's sick. Oh, uh, and Gyarados just has four attacks, Terra Water, Clear Amulet, won't affect anything. How do I want to do this? Torkoal sweeping isn't bad if Trick Room goes up. Who could do well? Is, it, is that a Moxie Gyarados? Okay. Hmm, alright. Uh, have to decide how to go about this. If I go Chandelure Torkoal, I mean... I mean, they've got Dazzling Gleam on their Ndidi as the attack, so like Valiant could just wall them with Wide Guard if they go that route. And I could like try to sweep with my own Hatterene. Uh, and also have Torkoal and I guess Ndidi? Seems weird to not bring Bax here. But that's what I'm going to go with, because I, I think it's going to be a Hatterene game for them. And Hatterene is like their best answer to bats, so I don't want to just... I mean it's not though, because they don't have a, a fairy move on their Hatterene actually. Oh, this, this is going to be a weird match, we'll see. Uh, oh, and they're posing with Volcarona, very nice. Okay. I guess I'll just have to see how they want to play it. Oh, Flareon Talon playing, okay. Flareon is Protect Last Resort. So it's not going to be able to attack this turn. Talonflame is Tailwind, Upper Hand, Steel Wing, and Acrobatics. But until the Sash is broken, that's not too threatening. So I think I will try to set Trick Room. Um, maybe I'll swap in Ndidi so I can't get Acroed. Terra Water so I don't lose too much health to a Steel Wing. And set Trick Room. Yeah, because Acrobatics could do some good damage to Gallade. Uh, I'm gonna want the terrain up eventually. If it isn't Acrobatics, I can just neglect all damage here. As long as Gale Wings just stays up. Yeah, Upper Hand won't do anything. I don't have any priority. Okay, let's see what they go for. Uh, there's my Terra, so probably no Terra from their end. Meaning the Flame Orb is not going to proc this turn. Which is fine by me. Uh, yeah, it must be a Protect from Flareon, that's all it can do. And what are you going for? Are you going for Tailwind? Nah, Stealing. Okay, I'm glad I Terra then. Cool. Would have done, what, quadruple that? Uh, that wouldn't have been too bad. Maybe I didn't have to burn Terra. Alright, uh... 
think I want to double into Talonflame here with Psychic and Expanding Force. I don't think that, that... that might take Flareon. I really don't know. I really don't know if I'm going to be able to take Flareon here. And if I don't, I'm going to have to take a Terra Normal boosted Last Resort. Uh, but at least the Guts hasn't proc yet, so it's, it's not the worst scenario to be in. And also, Expanding Force might do it. Hatterene is strong. Ah, no, not quite. Okay. Alright, how's their speed versus my Indeedee? That's important for me to know for later. They do go before Indeedee. Fine. Sorry, Hatterene. This is gonna hurt. Yeah, oh, wow. Bye. <laughs> Yikes. Hatterene, you, you did great. You did a lot of... You put a lot of damage on the board. Oh, boy. That hurt. Yikes. Um, I guess I could follow me. I guess I could also just go... Okay, they're burned now, too. It's gonna do even more next time. Yeah, I need to go to Torkoal. Because my Gallade might be faster than them. We know they're slower than Indeedee, and Gallade is a little slower than Indeedee. Just because I know my Pokemon speed set. Just the way they're trained. There's Sceptile. Which is gonna get its Unburdened proc. That's gonna be the fastest thing by a lot. Uh, they don't have Terra left, they do have Protect on Sceptile. Um, so Sceptile protects. They still have a potential Fire Resist in the back of Gyarados. So I think I actually want to Erupt and get into Gallade here, so I can hit Gyarados hard. Yeah. Because I imagine one or both of them Protect here. Um, I guess they could both just protect and try to get out of Trick Room. No, no protect. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fine. Goodbye, Sceptile. Goodbye, Flareon. Alright. Uh, is it Gyarados last? Is it... I don't think it is. If it's Hatterene or Indeedee... Torkoal's still slow. Yeah, okay, it is Gyarados. That's what I thought. Cool. So Hatterene and Indeedee are on the bench for them. I wonder if that'll stay true game two. Psycho Cut Eruption. That should be plenty. Let's see how much a single target eruption does. Only half. Okay. So that thing can definitely take some fire hits. Gyarados is a threat. Got it. Alright, that's a game one. Let's go on to game two. GG. Alright, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Uh, I kind of want to do Indeedee Hatterene this time. Torkoal, Gallade last. Um, it could also be Bax. Chandelure, if I were to bring it, would completely wall Flareon. Um, but we're, our problem is Gyarados, so... Best bet against Gyarados is... Um, yeah, it's Valiant of the Distant Past. I mean, Bax Caliber works too. Is Bax Caliber actually better than Gallade? I don't think so, because if they do end up going with Hatterene and Didi, I'll have the Wide Guard. Yeah. And the Wide Guard would be nice. Because, I mean, they've got Mystical Fire Dark Pulse on their Hatterene, along with Expanding Force, which. I'm setting the Psychic Terrain, so that's going to be spread. The Indeedee would get completely walled, just having Dazzling Gleam and Fake Out to do damage. Okay. I think this will work. Gyarados Sceptile this time. Okay. Uh, they get their Seed proc. Gyarados has Waterfall, Dragon Tail, Iron Head, Temper Flare. Do I care if Indeedee goes down? Not really. As long as... I mean, Hatterene can't get Dragon Tail, that's immune. I think I want both moves to go into Hatterene. No. The only, the only problem with setting Trick Room with Indeedee is Dragon Tail. So I can't afford to try to Trick Room and attack turn one. So I gotta go for Follow Me, Trick Room. And that should be fine, honestly. 
Expanding Force will do a ton to these guys. I don't really need my Ndidi, and it might hang on anyway. I don't know how strong these things are trained. Uh, acrobatics, that doesn't do too much. And it was Dragon Tail. Okay, so I, I, I'm glad I didn't try to go for a Trick Room with Ndidi. That would have got knocked out. Or it would have got knocked off the field before Trick Room goes up. Oh, you gave me Torkoal! Yes, thank you. Thank you. Love that. Yeah, that's... Ooh, that's gonna be hard to recover from. Uh, eruption plus expanding force should be more than enough to take both of these. Uh, they've only got protect on Septile. All right, balls in your court. Trick rooms on the field. Torquil and Hatterene are, are gonna make things explode now. Yeah, if that had got me out to Gallade, it still would have been fine because I think expanding force probably takes Septile. And a combo of two moves would probably take Gyarados. Would definitely take Gyarados. And I could double into Gyarados pretty safely because it doesn't have Protect. Uh, any swaps that could take this combo? Not really. This is Terra Water Gyarados? Yeah. Yeah, if you tr you're, you're gonna see if you can live. And it was really bulky. We saw the single target eruption do next to nothing. So if you can take Expanding Force plus Spread Eruption, which I guess is a maybe, you could do some big damage. Weakening Torkoal's Eruption at least. I don't think you would KO in the sun. That was pretty good. I feel like Expanding Force will leave it low. Let's see. It might do it. It'll be close. Ooh, got it. Yes. Goodbye, Gyarados. All right. Now Sceptile just protected, so it's going to be unlikely to do that again. Very cool. And Terra is burnt, so we know what that's all about. Um, probably just go to something that has protect and try to get out of Trick Room, right? Indeedy. Indeedy has Fake Out, but no way to change the terrain, so that won't do anything. If it can take the double up, it could reverse Trick Room, but we're going to make sure that doesn't happen. We're going to Terra Fire Eruption and Dazzling Room. The most damage we can possibly do to it. Maybe. And let's not forget, Sceptile does have a special defense boost, but that's not going to save it from an eruption. No, no way. And its Terra is Grass, so it was never going to be able to get away from this. Alright, no protect from Sceptile, so it's gone. And the Terra Fire boost could help me KO Ndidi. Uh, Dazzling Gleam will do it, okay. I may not have needed to Terra. I think Dazzling Gleam could have picked up from there anyway, but... Good to have the damage. You never know how things are trained. Bye, Ndidi! Alright, just one thing left. Even if they get out of Trick Room, it's gonna be hard to get through. Oh, and it's Hattering, yeah. I can go first with my Eruption, because I am a Minspeed Torkoal. And then I'll just also throw Expanding Force? It doesn't matter. Dazzling Gleam. Battle's cancelled. GG's. Good job, Torkoal. And we are back. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked this, go ahead and check out Part 1, too, if you haven't already. I'll link that in the description below. Uh, but anyways, try out all the rental codes in this. They're all great teams. But anyways, I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace. <laughs>